start off um, this video this way, but it's a popular way to do it. My fellow Americans, this video has some very revealing data and facts in it. I think you'll really be surprised by what I found. I've done a lot of research. I've been researching this for over a year, and the results are really astonishing, revealing, and deplorable. Uh, it's regarding the uh, current heroin epidemic and who's responsible for it, how it came to be such a problem in the United States. Uh, heroin's been with us almost forever. We've had problems with it uh, for 150 years at least. My father was a Cleveland detective. He was uh, injured while trying to arrest a heroin dealer and he needed an operation. Uh, I had a friend who was a Cleveland police officer who was murdered on duty by a heroin dealer. And uh, my daughter is also a heroin addict and I had no idea that she was until uh, situations came up that uh, revealed that fact. bottom of the screen you'll see some links to uh, my web pages which, which uh, contain all my research data and facts about what you're going to hear now uh, you can also google the information and uh, all you have to do is type in angel fire that's e-a-n-g-e-l-f-i-r-e Heroin Epidemic, Hillary, 2009-2013. The top two returns in your search are my pages about this uh, presentation. Here it is. In 2009, uh, the Afghan poppy fields, which uh, heroin is refined from, and other opioids, uh, opioids, uh, morphine and opium, were producing 15% of the world's total heroin. President Obama instructed Hillary Clinton to increase the amount of aid we were sending to the Afghans with the hopes that they would be more friendly to our troops. So she did that. She set up a, a program of uh, of funding through her U.S. aid department and she sent uh, billions of dollars technology equipment and uh, to the Afghans. Now remember 15 percent of the world's total heroin was coming from the Afghan poppy fields in 2000 before 2009. After they received this money, by 2013, 93% of the world's heroin was coming out of the Afghan poppy fields. That's an amazing increase in just a few years, starting in 2009. These are all facts that are easily verifiable if you want to do your own searches on, on, on uh, Google. Now, my problem is... Why wasn't President Obama, Hillary, or Hillary Clinton aware of the fact that such a big increase had occurred after we had sent money, equipment, and technology to the Afghans? It's just beyond me. I can't understand it. Somebody who was in charge of, of, uh, of that 
should have known that, should have recognized that somehow and be made aware of it and then stop the flow of money or told the Afghans to stop growing the poppies or else the money will stop. They didn't do that. We still, to this day, 2016, are sending them money, aid, technology, and equipment. Uh, it's just beyond me how anybody in their positions, President Obama and Hillary Clinton, could be the head of such powerful government departments and not have any idea that this was going on. These are facts now. This is data. Do your own research, you'll find it's all true. Uh, stop at the website you see along the bottom or just Google Angel Fire Heroin Epidemic Hillary 2009-2013. The top two returns will be my pages with all the data. You can verify it yourself once again. Uh, it's amazing, surprising, and it is deplorable. Uh, the far-reaching aspects of heroin are, are many. 32 Americans die every day from heroin overdoses, just heroin overdoses. 11 of those are black. Do we hear any protests from Black Lives Matter about those 11 who die every day? No. And I can't understand that. You'd think they'd be screaming their heads off. Stop. Stop the money going to the Afghans. Cut it off. Destroy the poppy fields, which would be easy to do. All we have to do is uh, instruct our military to go over there and burn them out. Once again, our soldiers are protecting the poppy fields. Proof of that's on my web pages too. There are pictures there and data su uh, supporting my contention that our soldiers are actually protecting the poppy fields in Afghanistan. It's the truth. On top of that, many of our returning soldiers come back and they're hooked on heroin because it's so cheap and plentiful in Afghanistan as well as in America now. It's amazing. It's just amazing, and I can't figure it out. Uh, these are all true facts. It's not bullshit, and this is not a uh, political tape. I started researching this well before the uh, Donald Trump was even running for president, uh, and it it comes down to the blame must fall where it may, and it falls right on the shoulders of President Obama and Hillary Clinton while she was in charge of the Department of State. Uh, I wish I could uh, just sit here and tell you all the aspects of this, but now you're going to have to read the, read the website, go to the websites listed on the, uh, on the uh, banners below me. Do your own research, come up with, to your own conclusions, and I think you'll be, you'll make the decision on who is going to best stop the heroin epidemic. Uh, that's about all I can say about this. God bless you. God bless America. And uh, I hope that you uh, take the time to do the research on this. It's a big problem. Billions of dollars are being made over there. Some of it's going to ISIS, Al-Qaeda, and the Taliban. There's no doubt about it. They've got their hands in it. They're getting money from this. They're funding their own... Uh, they're using that money for their own deadly uh, agenda. It's all fact. It's all fact. Once more, 
God bless you. God bless America. Do your research and come to your own conclusions.